Sean, I love you. You're my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you, laugh with you and comfort you in times of sorrow. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when our love seems easy and when it seems hard. I promise to cherish you and always hold you in highest regard. These things I give to you today and all the days of our lives. It is a pleasure and a privilege to declare you are husband and wife and you may do the traditional thing. Where do you start when talking about Sean? <laughs> Those who know will agree that it's definitely not a cliche to show that she is one of a kind. <laughs> I know that some see Sean and I's lack of tactile nature when together as a bit odd. We normally sit making fun of each other with our world class banter, and on the surface it may appear that there isn't much love and other softness between us. See, I believe one of the reasons we work so well together is because first and foremost we are friends who enjoy each other's company. <laughs> it's hard to talk about Sean without mentioning her benevolence. It is very unusual quality to be truly selfless. Most of us do nice things for other people, but I don't know many who go to such great lengths to ensure the happiness of others, regardless of the personal sacrifice. This is one of the many reasons I'm so lucky to call Sean my wife. It's difficult to find enough superlative to describe Sean's good nature. Her compassion and dedication in making sure that what she does for others is absolutely perfect is unparalleled. One of her best friends, Melissa, sums her up perfectly for me during a random conversation by saying she has a heart of solid gold. I couldn't put it better myself. And how incredibly lucky I am, I'm so happy to be able to show my wife. I love her with all my heart and I couldn't be more excited for our future together. 